All right, order of operations, video four for today. Four. Yeah, we start with our grouping symbols, which here we have brackets and we have parentheses. I always start inside the brackets. If we have more than one grouping symbol, we start with inside the brackets. Inside the brackets, we have our parentheses say six subtract five. Well, that is darn easy. But once again, I have this 11 next to the parentheses. That is the same as saying 11 times. And I'm still inside the brackets because I haven't done everything in here. Now I work my inside the brackets. I don't have any other grouping symbols. So I multiply from left to right or multiply and divide from left to right since the division in this problem comes before the multiplication. 11 to, 33 divided by 11 is 3 times 1. I got to bring down here. Now I have still inside my brackets here. I got 4 plus inside my parentheses here. 100 divided by 10 is 10. I've done everything else we should be down to our last step which is 14. and again if i'm rewriting every step as i go through the i make fewer mistakes that's proven fact by edward r murrow he said that long ago that if you show your work you're gonna make fewer mistakes. Let's look at one more for this video and then I think that'll be the last one we do today. Uh, let's do nine minus, minus parentheses three times two. plus eight. Now we start step one is to look for our grouping symbols. In this we do have parentheses. Three times two is six. So then we end up with nine minus six plus eight. We don't have any more multiplication or division. So now we go from add and subtraction and we just work that from left to right. So we're gonna work this from left to right. We have subtraction and addition. So that's the same step, which means we're going to subtract first, and that would give us three. We still have the eight we haven't used, and we should get 11. Now you're gonna, in fifth grade, you're gonna know a lot of times if you didn't do it in right order, because if I would have added these before I subtracted, then I would get nine minus 14. Well, that's going to give me a negative five. And so it will be obvious because you're not going to have, like with these kinds of problems, you probably won't have remainders. <laughs> <coughs> and you definitely shouldn't have negative numbers. All right. Thank you for watching. Good luck.